Yes, because I can see sometimes that the human, even some of you, so coin you say, are still very much attached to whatever outside them. Because you do not go inside enough to to see the wonder inside. And you, you just see everything outside. And everything outside is created to make you feel that it's real, that it is all there is. And it's so beautiful and wonderful. Of course, it does look like that. But it is not. And I feel so very sorry for all of you, for everyone, being so bounded here. They are binding you so tightly that you, you hardly understand. The humans hardly understand where they are and what they're doing. Just like some people who are so engaged in a, you know, a computer game, uh, internet, I never played, but I saw some people that are so engrossed in it that they forgot everything else outside. But that is also another illusion within this illusional world. And sometimes they forget. It, it, it feels so real. It feels so real that I heard that somebody even <laughs> leaned on the table <laughs> and fell down on the floor. But the table is the, the created by a computer in a game, yeah? Just like when we go see movies. Everything, the big screen in front of us make us so glued to the screen, to the cinema screen, and then we forgot everything else around us, almost. And then we cry with the characters in the film. We hate some of the baddies in the film, and we laugh with some funny uh, scenery in the scene, in the cinema scene. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. It's like that. But this world is bigger than a film. It's bigger than the computer game. And it's more intricate. It's more complex. It's more uh, sophisticatedly made. That's why it is more real. More real than in the film. And we, the soul, has been captured in the so-called also unreal body, but mistaken it for real. And everything became more real. And whatever you want, it will manifest also. And therefore, so many people want many different things. And the games keep changing, the games keep getting more complicated, more intricate, and more real. With each person desire come into effect. And we cannot... The humans cannot understand that this is just a game. And that's why I'm so sorry. I, I'm so sorry for everyone on this planet. Uh, that's why I'm so sorry for each, every of sentient beings on this planet. Every little false move. Your life is in trouble. Even the great, the biggest criminal or any People who are bad, we call bad on this planet, even the worst one there, just play the wrong game. Play the wrong move. Just like in the computer, you have a reward and you have punishment, right? In the game. Yes, Master. Is that correct? Correct, Master. Uh, I imagine so. I have never played any game, but I believe this is so. And sometimes they advertise on TV, like a war game or something like that. And if, of course, if you make a wrong move, you will lose the war, right? They often get three lives in the games. Three lives. <laughs> okay. Well, we have many lives. You just don't know it. <laughs> three lives. You mean you die and come back again? Yes. In the, in the games, they normally give you three lives. Okay. understand. Now, similarly, in this world, we are given many lives. And again and again and again, we are returning, we return to the world, so-called world, to play the same game. Hoping, vowing, wanting to play it right. But we don't always remember how to play it right. And thus, you know, we being punished, being dead or go to hell or whatever is that even though it's all fake, but it's real. 
is real because your mind cannot differentiate between the real and the unreal. And whatever happened to you, it feels so real, even in hell or in this world or in any wars or any suffering, any anything at all. It feels so real because the game is so sophisticated, so highly, highly tech, so that we trap in the body, we feel everything real. Even the astral body, it still has a body, so that's why it feel real. Only when you jump over to the fourth world, at least past the three worlds, then the body is more subtle, so that the negative power cannot catch it and cannot punish or cannot make use of you for their amusement in any way. I feel so sorry for everyone. It's just a game and just they just push maybe the wrong button or make a little wrong move and they lost. And they get punished, they go to hell or whatever it is. Just all game. And even if you win, so what? You will be also recycled again, again and again in this world and or the next or became even ghosts, demons, and never get out of that position, uh, you know, pathetic and pitiful positions, or became again like animals, humans suffering hunger, cold, even not to suffer, you know, birth, old age, and sickness and death all this pain will plague you, life after life. So even if you win, is this a loss in any case? And I feel so sorry, so sorry. There are no words to can express my sorrowful feeling for all beings that is feeling their suffering so much. Just a game and then just made the wrong move. They done nothing wrong at all, just a wrong move in a game. And this terrible game go on forever. At least for you, my so called disciples, please be diligent. Just keep looking inside. Don't care for the outside. Maybe you can enjoy or you can look but don't don't feel too attached to it. Always remember the real life is inside. You have a real life. Real, 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 true life. This life is not yours. Whatever you see outside is not, is not what it is. So please just try to remember. Recite the five names. Keep the gift that I give to you more than your life. Treasure it more than your so-called physical life here and meditate and remember well. Always pray for protection and for improvement in spiritual progress. Walk inside to go home. Walk back home. There's nothing here for you. Even if you like anything here, sooner or later you have to relinquish anyway. So please just do meditate as much as you can, anywhere, anytime you have time. Save any time for gossip, for anything that's unnecessary, just to meditate. One minute, two minutes, they all count. They all add up. Do not bother about the game that's going on in this illusionary world, in this shadow world. Do you understand me? We understand yes. you, Master. Yes. Okay. Very clear. All right. Yeah, very good. And we very thank good. you for constantly being there for us as the example so that we, we have that light to follow. I hope that's what I can do for you. I hope. I hope that's what the influence can have on you. More I cannot. Master, you are the perfect example for us and, and the perfect guide and there is nothing more that we need other than to look towards you every moment and keep pursuing the highest and most noble thoughts and actions. 
I'm not sure what kind of example that I made that impresses you, but uh, I just hope that it gives you good influence for your spiritual practice and progress and uh, continue with your spiritual road, your spiritual path, and that you will improve and reach your home soon. Of course, I am there always for you, but you also should always remember where home is. Look inside, okay? See, then you see everything here. There's nothing, all disappear. Nothing at all really exists. So just remember God, remember liberation. Remember that this world is shadow when you really remember. We just want to go to our true home liberated from here, that's all. Otherwise you get trapped here forever. Many masters come and go, and some souls are still reincarnated here and there because they did not listen to the master and being engrossed, being so captured by this illusionary world and suffer all the time. It's not real, it's like a computer game only. And if you make a wrong move, you'll be in trouble. And it's so easy to make a wrong move. So easy, because so much distraction, so much temptation, so much things that want to bind you and pull you in the game forever. The computer game, some people say they are so addicted and they cannot kind of stop, but at least they can stop. They stop when they want. They stop when they have to, or when they go to eat, or go to bathroom, or do some of their job, or whatever. But this computer game of the so-called life on earth is so difficult to set off. So there's the only way is that going back inside, uh, where the master show you the way to go, and recite the holy name to protect you, and recite the gift to help you to boost more your energy to go up. Okay. Yes, Master. Thank you so much, Master. Okay. I wish all of you uh, whatever spiritual wish. Every time we do things without love, there's a hole in our protective layer, personally as well. Only peace and love can protect you more, apart from the holy names and the Buddha's power and all that. When you're practicing, all the Buddhas in the past, meaning all the Master in the past and present, are helping you also, blessing you all the time, all the angels protecting you. But you have to be really sincere so you can connect better. It's like the television, you know, it has to be good, otherwise it goes kak, kak, and then the, the, the picture goes jumping. Yeah? Okay? Not that the Buddhas or the saints in the past or present don't bless you, it's just you don't get it. So have to take care of yourself. Wherever you go, take care of yourself and tell others to be more modest, more humble, more cooperative, okay? There's no winner and loser in, in our circle, just brothers and sisters. I trust you will all do that. Thank you. Your spiritual knowledge, your treasure within, don't show it to people. Even nowadays, I still tell you, don't go out and boast about your spiritual vision. Yes? You never know who is who, so keep quiet. Yeah? Also, this is a gift of heaven. Mostly gift from heaven, we should treasure it and keep it within ourselves. That's why Jesus said, Pray in the closet. Keep quiet. Everything that you have been given is not from this world. You cannot show it here. But don't worry if you sit in the sun, for example, or in the open air. It's in, in the open air, when you meditate, you get 59% more than when you sit in a closed building. Yeah? The thicker the building, the less, a little less, the concentration of the blessing. I don't know why, I guess the air gets stalled, you know? For example, okay, 
Uh, we have karma, you know, when we sit in the air, open air, then we will be recycled and run around and all dissipate a little bit here and there. But if we sit in one room, and all that concentration still there. See, when just like when you sit in the car and you don't open the car window, then the smell is different than when you open the car window and all the fresh air keeps coming and going. Same in the room, like that, okay? Countless masters always come and go, come and go. And bodhisattvas also, meaning lesser saints, yes? And uh, the bodhisattva is the one who almost become Buddha, and they're going to be Buddhas sooner or later. And they still have to rely on the powers of many Buddhas so they can do their rescuing work on the planet. Understand? The Buddha no need to rely on any body power except giving power to whoever has this Bodhisattva vow to save beings, or the Buddha save them themselves. When you became Buddha, your journey ends. Uh, you can either save in the being or you don't have to save any beings. Or you save the beings, and still you go up. You have no karma attached to you, you just go up. No matter how many you save, you just go up. Maybe you suffer when you're alive, but that doesn't mean that you have to come back, yeah, because of this karma. But if you do come back because you, your love, your compassion for other beings, then the karma that you still had from last life, maybe for the, from other beings from last life, you know, like the one you saved, or the one you are going to save, will be upon you. Then you will be born a just ordinary person, and then you have to somehow awaken or find a master. Somehow it will lead you to practice again, and then you become a Buddha again. Okay? So you're safe if you're Buddha or Bodhisattva. But you have to be reach such certain level, you know, as Bodhisattva or as Buddha. Then even if you were born as human again, you will not be uh, oppressed too long. Yeah? You will somehow, somehow in yourself, something steering up all the time. And then somehow something will lead you to meet another Buddha or enlightened master or the one who knows. 